has been many years since the reign of Queen Himiko, and war once again grips Japan. Your clan, the Yamato, controls the Kansai region, where you, Homutowake, rule as king. Rival lords, however, threaten your rule in this life and the next. They compete with one another over farming lands and the construction of giant burial mounds to house their remains. But you know that the great Shinto shrines are more prized than any rice patty or mound. Your rivals, the Izumo clan, control one such shrine. Destroy it and build a greater shrine where it once stood to weaken your rival's influence and receive the blessings of the gods. Alrighty folks, hello and welcome back to the Yamato Empire The Rising Sun campaign. We are on mission for the Mountain Temple. This is actually one of the more challenging missions in this campaign. Essentially we need to destroy the Izumo Temple and replace it with our own. Let's begin. So first things first, we are going to want to build a wall from here to here. Nearly these guys want to be on the other side of that. An archery range. Two on wood production. Rest on food. Now this is an interesting map. So the enemy just keeps attacking us basically. Both yellow, which is here, and brown, which is across the sea over here. And they just constantly attack us and harass us, which is why we built the wall. Kind of just puts that to bed early on. And we'll build a couple of archers just to defend ourselves. Um, you could argue building a wall, like a um, watchtower even, is probably worth building. Arguably it is. But a couple of archers will do us absolutely fine. And yeah, we're just building up our resources. We're going to build up a reasonable sized army on this side of the wall. Um, and then we'll destroy it when we're ready to rock and roll. And um, the enemy will still attack us, but they don't really do a huge amount. Like, it's small armies and brown completely doesn't bother anymore. But yellow is very easy to defeat. Um, the big gimmick in this mission is gold is very scarce. So we're going to have to essentially take over yellow's gold, then we'll take over brown's, then we'll take over red's, and then we'll deal with the big push at the end. Um, so this is probably the most, or well, one of the more traditional missions in the Japan campaign. A couple of them gold. Don't need too many. Which is probably the next thing we want to transition to so we can start building up a farm eco. And also moving to composite bows is also a really good shout. Definitely the next thing we want to move towards. Um, composite bows are actually what we're going to be using mostly for this mission. Even though we do have access to horse archers and in fact the upgraded heavy horse archer as well. Um, we're actually mostly going to be using cavalry and as we upgrade through the ages we'll be moving up to cataphracts. Um, which are very strong units. Sort of the best of that kind of tree if you will. transition into farm eco. Um, 
Stone is the one resource we don't really need this mission. In fact, we rarely do, to be honest, only when you build walls. Stone is one of those resources where it's very useful when you need it, but it's very rare that you need it. <laughs> Farm transition's well underway. I'm going to want to build a marketplace. We're going to want to build a couple more houses too. Keep them busy for a little while. Not really under threat of them taking down the walls. I'm gonna grab this upgrade though so we can outrange considerably. Also improves wood production, which is never a bad thing. So the benefit of um, composite bows are just much better than bowmen. They're very low cost in terms of gold. So we can actually get quite a lot of them. And I say cavalry is going to be the other unit of choice. Extra two range on the composite bows, kind of nuts. I think we can upgrade them once more as well. Grab a bow and calf armor. Cutters, up oh, sorry, even more farms. It's probably worth building these here as well so that we can start cutting away this. At this point, we should have enough to deal with yellow. On a little low on gold, anyway. So once we secure yellow, we'll need to build a dock and then we'll start transporting troops. Composite bows are still going to be the main unit choice with a couple of cav built in and mixed in. At this point, we're going to want to transition to a secondary of operations.
do also want to think about aging up as well. Transition get these guys over to good. Actually, we only need to. Sells a dock. I'm going to put the health upgrade on Cav. No, I don't think we need this. It's not really going to be using infantry. I don't think it works with cavalry, but I'm going to test it anyway. I can't remember if it does or not. I think it's this one that we possible one. If it does. Okay, no, so we don't need that upgrade then. Cool, good to know. I want three um, transport ships. At this point, we don't need as many people on farms anymore. It's also a massive um, drain on my uh, wood eco. Also, transition into the next stage. Okay, two more. Grab an academy just for the sake of grabbing an academy. I literally only need the academy so I can age up. Transition to kill Brown next. To be fair, Boma, I don't need any more. Don't really need Axemen either. Transport operate as well as soon as we can. I have the timing. A couple of upgrades you want actually really before we start pushing into enemy territory. Bowman upgrades, so this one, these two, so it's becoming a problem again. It really is the problem right now. 
Might have transitioned off of food a little bit too early there. As fate would have it. Bum 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 ba dum ba da ba dum bum 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 ba dum ba da ba dum. Ba 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 da ba da ba da 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 da. Use their sneaky back door into their base. And start to deal with all their ships. They are very much a ship um, faction, so can be a bit tricky to deal with. These guys massively outrange the enemy now. A range of ten, whereas the enemy ships have a range of seven, so we can just poke them. We'll let the Cav do all the damage to the enemy um, eco buildings. transports anymore. We do want to take these guys over here so we can set up our uh, next mining operation. So whilst um, I say horse archers are definitely the better choice, they're also very expensive on gold and we just don't have the gold income to really to sustain it. And so we're using the composite bows, and just a cheaper option. I honestly they're pretty much just as effective, they've got the same effective range. Slightly more damage as well I think. Obviously they don't have as much hit points. And they're clearly not as fast either, so it's the trade-off. So now we've dealt with these guys, we're going to transition to the enemy base. The one that we actually want to take down, which is red. Down, so I don't want to use. Oops. Don't use the workers. So just taking down this right now. We are going to need to use siege equipment to take down the enemy walls. Brown's dead. Siege workshop here. 
access to more gold now. These guys can actually stop building. This upgrades. Grab the cataphract upgrades. And actually, we're pretty, pretty much golden at this point. Do you want to have as a couple more archer and stables? No longer really need transport, so we can kill them off. Building our army on the other side of the map anyway. Soon as we've got a couple of these guys, these guys can build gold mine that. Da, 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 da. Best track of the game. Doodle doop, doodle doop. Da, da. Okay, so these things actually outrange towers. Unfortunately, the way range works, you need to have at least two range advantage to actually outrange a unit, for the most part. Especially when it comes to towers, anyway. I don't really know, don't ask me why that works like that, it just does. So obviously we need to use the stone throwers to uh, take care of these. We can't upgrade them any further, unfortunately. And as soon as we've taken down this tower, we can start rebuilding the... Uh, Forward military base. And we kick the siege into overdrive. To be fair, that's the last um, turret they've got for a little while, so we can actually go in and start causing some mayhem. Yeah, we don't want to get blasé with our gold spending, because it's uh, very quick to run out. And this is the, all of the gold that's on the map. At least, that it's mineable. Well, I say that's mineable, that's easily mineable. I believe the uh, red does have one, but you got to push in so far in order to obtain it. It's almost like a fool's errand type of scenario. At this point, I feel like we've got probably too many things on resources. Quite frankly, I want a bigger army. Since we're doing the uh, final push into the base. these as well. We need to get more vills later on, we can. I doubt we will, to be honest. This army should be more than large enough to take on whatever the enemy throws at us. Slow pushing is the way to do it. The enemy has so much defense and armies tucked away.
get them to not attack unless I tell them to. So I don't friendly fire my own troops. turrets Well aware that we could just dive straight in, but it's also unnecessarily risky. This army is difficult to replace with <laughs> the lack of gold. In fact, we are completely mined out on gold now, so... 1700 gold might sound like a hell of a lot. Like, ah, well, you know, you got loads of gold, but actually it will disappear very quickly. Cataphract's like 60 gold a pop. Just using the target, the catbots really to target the key buildings whilst the main army deals with all of theirs. Deal with the ballista. These turrets do a surprising amount of damage. I know six doesn't sound like a lot, but we don't get much arm like anti-missile armor. So we pretty much take five damage every single time, even on the cataphracts. Soon adds up. Mark them as team zero so that we can build the temple here to replace. Not ready to do so. Artillery. It's also worth pointing out that we need to get our villagers here safely as well, <laughs> without them getting killed. Yeah, that is pretty much all that all we need to do for this mission. Basically, there, just going to take care of these two guard towers, protect the vills and get them to build a temple in its place.
The enemy does still build priests out of here as well. So be mindful of. My friends, is all she wrote for this mission. Quite a good one, quite a fun one actually. I quite quite enjoy this mission. GG's. The gods have blessed your reign, Emperor Homu Tawake. Your defeat of the Izumo and their Kibi allies has strengthened your plan, making the Yamato the predominant power on Honshu Island. You have constructed shrines throughout your lands and begun construction of a great burial mount house your remains after your work on this earth is done Alrighty, thanks for that i'm about to do it for this mission i hope you enjoyed it if you did please do give it a thumbs up if this is the kind of content you enjoy then please do consider subscribing to the channel it does help support the channel would be greatly appreciated do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and as always i shall see you in the next video